The action came quickly after the UN Human Rights Council released the so-called BDS blacklist designed to punish more than 100 companies doing business in East Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, and the Golan Heights. Israel froze ties with the council's leader, accusing the office of serving the BDS campaign. United States Senator Tom Cotton accused the council of persecuting Israel while protecting the world's worst tyrants, calling on it to investigate the crimes of its own members instead of obsessing over the Jewish state. It's important to note that it is not, as some claim, a blacklist, nor does it qualify any company's activities as illegal. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed to boycott those who boycott Israel, calling the Human Rights Council a biased body that is devoid of influence. His political rival, Benny Gantz, also condemned the publication, calling it a dark day for human rights. They were working on this, they held it back, and now, after a peace plan is launched, they go ahead and do that. Shame on the Human Rights Council. Palestinian Authority vowed to use the list to drive the companies out and demand compensation. Ironically, any resulting boycotts would likely hurt Palestinians the most. For example, CBN News has reported how international pressure forced the SodaStream company to leave Mishor Adumim and move to Israel, costing many of the 500 Palestinian employees their jobs. NGO monitors Yonah Schiffmiller told CBN News much of the list came from BDS-linked organizations, and Israel claims several groups with terror links push the UN to publish the list. The activities that these companies are being targeted for are completely legitimate. There is no international standard that bars business activity in occupied territories or in settlements. Many of the companies that we're talking about are conducting activities that were outlined in the Oslo Accords. Christian business leaders from some 40 nations have pledged to combat the BDS movement by pursuing business with Israeli companies. We've invited them in order to connect with Israeli businesses, meet face to face and create those connections and transactions that'll help bring Israeli innovation to the world. I'd encourage your viewers to do double, triple the amount of business with the companies on that list. I would encourage uh, your viewers to write letters to those companies, encouraging them to continue to write letters to Congress in protest. I think what they did was outrageous. Chris Mitchell, CBN News, Jerusalem. It is outrageous, and, and please don't buy the UN spokesman saying it's not a blacklist. It's absolutely a blacklist. And what it's designed to do is put pressure on these companies to withdraw business from the West Bank. Now, who ultimately is harmed by that? The Palestinians. Uh, this is the prime place where they're being employed. And if you uh, put penalties on businesses for doing business in the West Bank, at the end of the day, you're hurting the Palestinians. You're also hurting the peace process. Uh, until Palestinians and Israelis can get together, and one of the best places to do that is in the workplace, uh, you're never going to see any kind of peace. The Palestinian Authority has repeated the same line that goes all the way back to the Khartoum Accords, where it's no negotiation, no peace, no recognition. Uh, they've had opportunity after opportunity to form a Palestinian state, and every single time they have refused to do it. So in that context, uh, publishing this kind of list, of course it's a blacklist. Well, you can show the U.N. that you stand with Israel by signing a petition declaring your support for the Jewish state against this anti-Israel boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement. To sign the petition, all you have to do is text STOP BDS to 411444, or you can visit us at cbn.com STOP BDS.